Hello, welcome back to getting towards the very end of Drod uh, Gunthro and the Epic Blunder. So, last time... Only esteemed bearers of the four sand keys may pass. So last time we collected the fourth and final sand key. You have the second sand key. You have the third sand key. You have the fourth sand key. You have the first sand key. All right. Oh, and they'll close it behind us. Okay. So from here... We get to finally enter this place and... See where it takes us. Fearing a usurper would drive them from the sandcastle, the golems built the sand gate, a well-protected second entrance. The heart of the mystery. All right. These do not look like enemies. If they were, they would be moving. Character. Why do you enter our castle? I seek a traitor. I see. May you find truth within. No. Okay. Inner Chambers. Determined to track down the twin captain and whoever was commanding the golems, Gunthrow headed down to the inner chambers of the sandcastle. He wasn't leaving without answers and vengeance. Little did he know that the inner chambers acted as a training ground for young golem warriors and were filled with deadly traps, and the twin and captain had got there ahead of him. I warn you now. Go back the way you came. At last, I've almost caught you. Beware. I've learned the secrets of this place. You'll never survive if you keep trying to pursue me. Okay. Okay, I can't get through there. Oh, hello. So got a new tile set here. This is an interesting choice for this place. Uh, again, got the funky looking trapdoors. Here's a secret we can't actually do until we've cleared the level. Interesting choice. Okay. And here... Yeah, it looks like once we've cleared the level we can no longer get through here. Because we won't have that block to protect us. Okay, so what's this place all about? Fool! I told you once! Stop following me! Never! In that case, I'll shut you in if you try to get those brains. Okay. Uh, looks like this is sort of a final exam level where they start mixing all the elements together. Like all the new monsters with everything else that we've been doing. Okay, so he will... Twin Captain, Cyril, will hit this orb if we try to get to the brains. Let's confirm. Yes. Well, not a lot we can do now. So how do we stop him from hitting this? Well, if we drop the trap doors... Fool. Uh, we drop all the trap doors, actually. Fool. Let's... I told you once. Okay. If we drop all the trap doors, the golem comes out, and if we get the golem to stand here, Then eventually the golem will come out this way and let him get to the orb, but if we're efficient enough about this part, I think we can get through in time and he will, because he has to wait for the golem. Uh, he's probably going to kill the golem so that we're not actually able to get through, because as soon as the golem steps here, he'll step south. So we're not, we're not going to be able to go through this, this path, most likely. Uh, I want to start over because we have a timer and I want to kill as many Four. of these as possible I... before... Uh, whoops, I think actually this isn't the way I want to be facing. Yeah, no, I want to start this way. Four. So that we can make this part as efficient as possible. Uh, 
Okay, so how many of these have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so 13, we can, we can get through in inefficiently like that. Um, yes, okay. And these guys do not lay eggs on trapdoors, so we're actually safe here. Although, oh dear. Okay, we'll, we'll do it this way. There we go. So this room was. Assuming that this is going to work, uh, it was just about finding the right way to get this room started. Because as it is now, I have more than enough time uh, to get into each of these alcoves. The other issue is that I need to get something to kill. Well, I can kill the I can kill the snake with one of the two brains. Okay. Doesn't matter if it lays the egg because I'm swinging back and forth. Oops. Oh. Okay, this this will be fine. Yeah. Starting to make oops, some better progress here. Could have used some roaches, maybe, but... Okay, did he say something? Okay, there's no dialogue for that. Yes, and this lets us do this, which... Uh, it's brain, so it's not going to be smart enough unless we're on an arrow. Or it's going to be too smart unless we're on an arrow. Red means danger. Okay, what was that challenge I completed? Don't step on a red tile where the queens start. Oh! Okay. Uh, why would you ever need to do that? How is that even a challenge? I mean, yeah, if you're standing in one of these alcoves, you can swing your sword back and forth on the trapdoor, but they're still only coming in one at a time, so it's not... Oh, okay, no, that would be more efficient, because they're coming in one per turn, so you get... Okay. So that would allow you to clear clear them out twice as fast, and you wouldn't need to be nearly as efficient at the beginning. Okay. Okay, so I, I did it the hard way. Leave me be! Are you not happy enough that you have slain dens of my comrades already? I shall not rest until I have caught you! Very well. Step near that brain, and I'll lock you in that chamber for eternity. Okay, so here, stepping on that. So this time we use the serpent to block him. That'll give us enough time to stab the brain and get out. The serpent will be forced to go that way if we have dropped every single trapdoor. Alright, so we're forced to do that. 
If we do this right now, we lose. Well. How badly do we lose? Yeah, we can't even can't even get through the door. Okay. So this is just gonna be a case of Huh. If I do that now, I think it's not good enough. I need to get I need to get further ahead. Is that enough time? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, no, that's I think I need to be a little bit further still, so we'll try this. There we go. Yeah. And it doesn't really matter what way my sword is facing for this room. I suppose eventually it needs to face south. Now we have to wait until the serpent catches up. Okay, to that. That does give us enough time for that. Uh, but we need to. Nope. Okay, well, we can gain one more turn maybe doing it this way. No, no, we can't. Okay, and that has to be the last one that we do. Interesting. Um, okay, well, let's just go around. I don't know if it matters if it's going clockwise or not, uh, but we're going to just do it that way. Because we know that this works for the second part. There we go. Ah, uh, sure, we'll waste the turn to... And if I hadn't have wasted that turn, <laughs> would have been able to make it. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure out how to slow this guy down anyway. I think. Yeah. The snakes can't move diagonally, so we need to get him like that. There we go. Looks like gives us the the greatest distance. Get him in the opposite corner from the corner that you're going to. Ah. Okay, this one, same deal. We need them up in one of these corners and then go for the other. If I just go for it, I think I'm stuck, right? Yeah. So we need something like that, maybe? Is that... Nope. trouble with this. Um, if I do that, you're going to do that. Oh, if I wait here, that gets you into the corner. Okay. Alright. I have to remember that you got a wait command. And from there, we get the serpent where we need it. Oh. Okay, well, I was curious if there was text for that. Gripping serpent. Indeed. Very grubbing, that serpent is. If I get to that last pressure plate in time, I should be able to lock you in forever and be done with you. So that closes this door. Okay. So he's actually going to help me out initially, because uh, I can't do anything until he steps here. So what do we got here? We have an evil eye puzzle. Just a reminder, if you're having trouble with these, F3 will show you that all four of them are looking there. Uh, though with the extra grid lines, it can actually make it harder to read. Uh, I won't be using that, because oh, he's got this nice checkered square tile anyway. So it looks like this is a matter of a number of short challenges, and each time we complete one, uh, he then gets to advance slightly, and we have to get out. Okay. So let's see if we do that. That. Whoops. Oh, they're brained. Okay. If right. I get to. Of course. How about. 
like that, then you know, the brain just makes them prefer the orthogonal over the diagonal. So that's basically all we can do here. For the second one, we have the choice of wakening... Oh, well, okay, we have to wake them up anyway. Once here, there's no... Yeah, there's no time limit here, because he's just going to do that. So now... You know, let's just be lazy and slow. Uh, if I do this, is it really bad for me? Oops, I didn't need to do that, but it doesn't matter if I get another turn or not. Okay. I get oh, I didn't even step on the, the pressure plate. Okay. That's fine, that was easy enough. Yeah, there's not really anything I can do about that. So... No. What about that? Uh, this? Okay, that lets me get through. Uh, I haven't killed those brains. Is that an issue? Uh, I can come back and kill them later. Okay. okay well, we have to. We have to activate that guy. Let's just do that. So now we have the option. We can kill the brains or not. My suspicion is that we don't want to kill the brains. Because killing the brains would be the easy and obvious thing to do. But this could be sort of a, a double fake here. Uh, if these were... Okay, we can get through this unbrained, well, brained or unbrained. Either way is really easy. How about here? Can break him up. I think... Maybe... Okay, I'm gonna try on brain. Uh, I have a good feeling about it. Uh, I have a great feeling about it, yeah. Uh, okay. We'll clear that first. And then we'll try on brain. Okay, that's a little bit, a little bit trickier. More what I was expecting. Because now... Here, if I do this, I can take advantage of them not being brained to get them stuck on each other. Like so. So what's the deal with this one? If I get you... Okay, as long as this is held down, you can't... Okay, so if, I that, if I do that, you're stuck. Uh, are you gonna be good for me if we do it this way? Uh, where am I trying to get to? If you get to there... Okay, I have to get to here, so I need to keep this held down. Can I do that by... Wait, if I keep doing this... Oh! Okay. That worked better than I was expecting. Yeah, and all these force arrows, this is very much a forced uh, gauntlet where you can only move in one direction. Hello, this is a complicated room. Um, so we've got a wraith wing. Got some evil eyes that are staring off into nothing. So those, I ha I'm forced to kill them myself. Which means that, okay, Captain steps here, the room is unsolvable. Unless I've already killed both evil eyes. Step here. Uh, that's the first thing I have to do. So step here, which opens this and gets the guard, or the guard, uh, guard captain up to here. At which point uh, I can, I have a kind of a trapped area here, which, okay, well no, because that's going to go up and on and off. Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, this opens that, which gives me access to these, but also gives the guard access to those. Okay, so basically, I step here, and nothing really happens. I step here, 
and effectively all four outer, or yeah, the outer walls on all four are going to open. And then the orbs, all four do the same thing. Okay, just open that, uh, which then he steps here, which releases all four serpents. Then I have a time limit to get to here. No, sorry, before he gets to here, right? I have a time limit in which I have to kill everything. And at that point, or at least I have to kill both eyes. And if this is held down, he's not moving. Also, if this is held down, um, So maybe I want to try to get a serpent in here. That might be what I'm looking at. If I can get a serpent in here, then I have all the time I want to do everything else. Not to kill these, because the captain won't be able to move. If a serpent is in here, I'm going to need a roach or a wraithwing alive in order to um, kill it. Uh, I'm thinking, well, see, the wraithwing is good, except, well, okay, I can kill it on no, I can kill the wraithwing on an orb. Uh, should be should be possible, unless this is, yeah, because if I get it here and go this, well, maybe. Maybe I can get it on one of these orbs, probably. So I'm, I'm thinking Wraithwing is the last thing I kill. Okay. Oh, I see. This gives me a, oops, this gives me a little bit of time to do this before, before I die. Before I die horribly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there any way? Okay. Well, first of all, let's uh, give him as little time as possible. Oh, I can't. I can't get out here though. Okay, so I actually do need a little bit more time there. Um, okay, well I think the key to this entire puzzle is going to be this wraith wing. So let's... Uh, okay, if I do that, you can't go south, although that doesn't matter. Uh, okay, let's do this. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. No, 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 no. You wait right there. So now, if we... I guess the problem is if we do that... Oh, no, the Wraithwing survives. Okay. Uh, whoops, let's... Okay. That seems good to me. So use the Wraithwing to delay the captain. And then we have to hit these, and we want this held down. So this is... Um, Wraithwing can't hold that down, so now we need to use a Serpent, and then the Wraithwing will kill the Serpent at the end. Okay, so let's uh, try this. Still here. Give it up, you ruinous rather and ruffian. Oh, I see. I need to. There we go. Do something like that. Uh, can I kill these serpents in any other way? Oh, there's one. They move before the uh, great thing, unfortunately. Uh, it doesn't matter at this point. Uh, so let's just get those. Okay. No. 
How about now? Too slow. Okay, let's just... Let's just do it the easy way. You. In here. There we go. And now for the Wraith Wing, which actually is a green door. That'll work nicely. Leave me no choice. Step onto the center, and I'll release the rock giants. Okay, looks like another room with a challenge. Okay, well, before we go, before we look at this too much. Oops. Okay, well, there's no brain. Now, let's just get rid of all the queens that we can. That's gonna cut down on that. So now we have these broken walls here. Oh, and in here. Killed killed some queens. From here. Uh, let's just test out this giant thing first. So that's how much we can break that. If we go in here. Okay, he's not doing anything. Right, we step anywhere on there, okay. Okay, we're safe. And we can get back out. Right? Unless... I thought it was going to be a lot harder to take out the giants than that. Good to know that I'm a lot better at this game than I used to be, because this was a really hard room. Wow. That... Now I'm wondering what the challenge. Did I mess... Did I mess something up, or is this the challenge? Am I doing it right? Oh, uh, obviously we don't do it that way. Uh, that's fine, we can do that. This, like a million times. Oops, let's not step on that horse arrow, that would be bad and make us very sad. Make sure that the golem doesn't get in our way. Uh, all the golems are down. not the challenge, so what did I do wrong? Enter the central area to release the rock giants before you kill any roaches or queens. Oh, okay, so it just has to be the same way. Uh, what I will say, um, the way that I solved this before, the first time, these arrows here are tricky because they're on an angle, so you can actually get the queen off and you can actually chase a queen into here and create a wall of roaches inside here. Which was how I originally did this room. Oh, there's a lot of checkpoints. I don't want to hurt you, but you leave me no choice. Step onto the center, uh, and whoops. I'll release the rock giant. I don't want to hurt you. 
I don't okay, let's let's stop hitting walls because we wanna get in here relatively efficiently. Okay, um Yeah, that's fine. This is this is what we did. Okay. Okay, so from here. I think that's good, right? Because that's coming for me. Oh. Uh, who's got... You do, of course. Okay, this isn't... This didn't work out quite how I wanted it to, but that's fine. Hopefully I didn't misread the challenge. It wasn't kill all of them, right? It was just release them. Oh. Okay. Which is... Fine, I don't actually ever need to go through this way, so I can do that. And whoops, we need to get a few more of these roaches. There we go. Okay, get that guy. Get those guys in there. This is why I should be using the battle key instead of hitting two buttons over and over. Uh, why am I doing that? I need to have my sword facing the other way. Yep, fine. Okay, we'll just clean this up first. Going it alone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so the challenge was not to, to get the Roach Queen off and into here. Though, like I said, it was uh, surprisingly easy just to survive that anyway. You're outnumbered now. My men have joined me. You'll never make it through these deadly chambers. Turn back while you can. Uh, I cannot. Deadly Chambers of Death, okay. So, step, release. And then he's nice enough to actually let me out afterwards. Okay. It's kind of funny. Uh, so this is just a bunch of challenges. Um, okay, anything to worry about? Four guards. Uh, that's not going to be an issue because we can circle around. Uh, roaches, nothing we can do. Roach queens have space behind them. So the question is, if we just run in like that, we're going to have two rows of roaches on us. But if we wait here for a spawn cycle, one row of roaches is now blocked by the roach queens. Yeah. That's not an issue because we can just do this. Okay, from here, yeah, this would be really, really hard if we had just coming at us like that, but as it is, like that. Oh. Well, that didn't work the way I was hoping it would.
Not too bad, though. Why do you persist? I cannot return to Lazarus without satisfying justice for what you have done. What I have done? It is Lazarus that started the war. Okay. So I just have to... Okay, well I've wasted way too many moves. Um... Let me try it like this. Uh, still not. Oh, there we go. I guess he doesn't have a choice if he's gonna let me out. No. We have reached a dead end. Perhaps we can come to an agreement. Well, okay. Let's open the doors for each other now. But this does not mean I will not continue to hunt you down. This has all become rather personal. As if it were I, rather than you Razoran Philistines, who started all this. Do not play innocent with me. I know it is you who killed our king. What? But that is not true. Liar. You will pay. The relay station here. Okay. So what's gonna happen here? I have three choices. Uh, if I just hit the one that's closest, and then go through here, uh, I am now stuck. Okay, what lets me survive this bomb going off anyway? So that's not what we want to do. Take the longest path. Can we get through? We can. And then we get blowed up. Uh, that lets us through. Okay. So what we want... So we want him to hit this as quickly as possible. No, as slowly as possible. But then go from here to here as quickly as possible. So it's going to be... My guess is doing that. And then finding some magical point at which it's still faster for him to come around this way than it is for him to go around this way. So let's wait until he's there. Okay, that'll... Yeah, that'll still work. Oh, he keeps going forward. Uh, I could count this. Okay, so it goes forward from there, from there, no, one turn, wait, okay. I happen to have, that's the perfect, and yep, just barely. So now from here, there we go. See, it's almost like we're friends. Oh. That's a long, windy level. Guess we have to enter this place again if we want to do that secret. Okay, what are you doing? You're going for that, which is going to do that. And from here... Okay, I think I just lost. There's nothing I can do. I need to get in here and kill this. But if you step on that, this is locked and I can't. Okay. So we do that, and we can manipulate your pathfinding. That orb, put our sword in a more convenient orientation. I guess it would be that, so that we can stab the brain as we go through quickly. Um, I can hit this orb to toggle that. Oh no. No, no, you don't. So we've got you locked. This is the longest path. What, what stops that? Nothing. Okay. So if you ever go down this way, then it's over. There's nothing I can do. Right? What does this do? 
This locks you in there. It also seals that. Okay. Uh, I think we need to get you to step on this, which we're only going to accomplish if you're trying to go from here to here. So I think that's what we have to do next. That? Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, you get over here. Good. Okay, that was enough. Blast! Blast, you say? So, if it was not you, who did I see kill our king? It is as I feared. Dark forces are at play. Someone has set us up. I do not know why, but perhaps our mutual destruction is beneficial to someone. Maybe the war was even planned mutually within our own governments. Well, I mean, you're talking, but I mean, you did say blast, and it gives me an idea of what I can do here. So I have a choice. I can spare him or not. Well, he killed our king. You are merely lying to save your skin. And that... That's, uh, that tunnel's not going to do us any good, so we have to go out this way. Good. Captain is dead. And we're just about finished. Oh yeah. There's that matter of that secret. Uh, Gunthrow headed back down to the inner chambers to make absolutely sure there were no loose ends left behind. Like... Like this room. No brain. Drop that, those die. We need both of those held down, which means that the only way it's possible the only way it's possible to get something dead on there is for the giant to be standing in that corner. Which means that we need you guys probably here and here. Something like that. Which means we do not step on that initially. Oh, okay, that's, that's fine. No, that's not fine. No, oh, nope, that's not gonna work. Let's try it again. Okay. Uh, is there any way... Yes, we can do that. Which gets us around you like that. Which lets us do... That. Which is, I think, what I wanted to do. I'm safe here. Okay. Is that fine? Yes, yes it is. Okay. Okay, the secret wasn't too bad. And yes, we can't we can't go through here again, right? Yeah, there's, there's no safe spot. So we've cleared the secret. Okay, secret's fine from here. We killed the traitorous twin and captain. So now maybe we can leave and go home. I can take that raft back to Razorus, and I shall bring my news to the court. Yes. 
I don't know how long Gunthrow sailed on his way back to Razorus and what adventures he encountered along the way. He didn't seem to want to go into it. Okay, I guess this is Vithro talking. He must have had a tough time. It's a long way to go. Check it out on the Master Map of the Eighth if you don't believe me. Plus, Akandians often carry the Zealot's Plague, and Twin and Forces would have been on the lookout for any craft coming from Akandia in order to sink it before it got too close. Anyway, Gunthrow finally made it back to Glum Cove with news for the court. Yes, and this roach. I must go immediately to the Razoran court with the news about the war. This roach that has been so vexing us for so long. Third place die, but I guess I could have let it come to me a bit more. Um, yes, so this roach that has been vexing us for so long has finally been cleared, and we now have a path through to Candia. I guess I can just go through the water now. The outer walls of the restaurant court. Okay, it's the same. Wow! A bona fide VIP! Right this way, sir! That's more like it. Funny, the first guard didn't use the sword and the second one did. I wonder. wonder what that's about. Second audience with the true court. Gunthrow had important news to share, and at last, he could get paid. Priorities. Here we are. Oh, got some new music here. Gunthrow Budkin, honored servant of the court. What news have you of the war in Twino? It is ended, sir. An army of rock golems forced both sides into surrender. I see. And is the villainous Twainan assassin now dead? He is slain. Well done, Gunthrow. But before he died, he told me of dark forces at work. I still cannot understand who leads the golems, or why they would want to stop the war. Something going on, and the people of Razorus are not being told. Ah, of course not, Gunthrow. You must be careful about these insinuations. In fact, thinking about it. I greatly fear for your safety should you stay in Razorus. I am sure there are those who will seek vengeance for what you have done. We will order you to be transported to the land of Afelna at once. They are a simple people. I'd suggest hiding out somewhere in the middle of nowhere, like, oh, hmm, like Dugandy. Hmm. You are most kind, sir. Go now, Gunthrow. All right. That explains... <laughs> Not suspicious at all. So that explains how Gunthrow ends up in, uh, in Dugandy. Let's go, Gunthrow. I'll take you to the main part. What happened next? Well, that's about it. What do you mean? Gunthrow set sail for Afelna and settled here in Dugandy. Aww, I wanted to hear more about the roaches. Nah. You've seen one roach, you've seen them all. Myself. I wish I knew more about those shady characters old Gunthrow ran into. Old Gunthrow seemed to have uncovered something big, but he never told me more. While I was doing my last job, clearing King Dugan's dungeon, I saw some mighty strange things too. I'll tell you about it sometime. I'd like to investigate further. I want to come. Sure, sure. Just ask your mother for permission first. Can we see some goblins? Nah. Goblins are nasty. Gunthrow never did like them, say. Want to hear about this new roach burger recipe I came up with? Uh, I think we need to go to bed early today. Or wash some dishes or something. See you later, Uncle Beepro. Remember to be home before dark and avoid goblins peddling wooden lampshades. Complete. Alright, 21 hours, 21 and a half hours. So that was Gunthrow and the Epic Blunder. Uh, so we finished the story. Uh, there's a couple of uh, loose ends to clean up still, so we will be continuing the series uh, after this. But for now, secrets conquered 95%. I missed one. Well, that's one of the things that we're going to be finding. Um, let me go. 
Uh, okay, so Gunthro continued his career in Dugandy as an esteemed smite master for some time. Well, as you know, there are those that esteem smite masters, and there are those that think of them as no more than filthy delvers, doing the type of work that more proper folk won't touch. Still, Gunthro did manage to get married and raise a decent family, though he never did quite settle down as folks tend to do. He cleaned many a nobleman's dungeon and lived through many more adventures. He never told anyone outside of his family of the epic blunder, and probably just as well. If you ever have some time one evening, and after Bethro is done working his grill and wants to take a load off, I invite you to stroll, uh, to take a stroll on over with Halk and Bethro's other nephews. If you ask nicely, I'm sure you'll be able to hear some of the further adventures of Gunthro the Smite Master. Okay, so I'm just going to be uh, quiet for this uh, credit sequence here. Alright, so Eric Hermanson, creator, concept, game elements, story, and art. Okay, Mike Reimer, looks like a busy guy. Producer, lead programmer, level designer, art direction, voice and testing coordination, sound effects, and voice editing. Core, Caravel Net Design and Programming. Hey, Jacob Grinfeld. Level design, story, scripting, and help documentation. I have played a Jacob Hold before, actually. Terence Ferguson. Programming, Game Element Design, and CaravelNet. Oh, we didn't even use Stepping Stones in the main story. Larry Merck and Henry Karinen. Karin. 
John Sonnenberg for the music. very much like the music in this game. Uh, Jerry Joe Jelstad, programming Linux port and tile art. Hey, Logan West, voice work. Uh, so this is the voice of Gunthrow. This is where I start getting in trouble for reading these names. Tom Browse and Hitten Swig. Dialogue, continuity, and testing. Right, Neil Frederick with more level design. Brett Boyette for art. Oh, three new room styles, right. Yes, the mastery section is another place we still have to get to. Wei Lam, art. Jennifer Losser, Story, Tile Art, Testing, and Continuity. It's true, Force Arrow Tile Art can be difficult to see on some surfaces, so that's very much appreciated. And the cast. Twelfth Archivist, George Wanfried, also known as Chaco. Ryan Berry, Lance Nathan, and Anatala Wolf, Trickster. Level Description Texts. Uh, Chaco also has done some great hold work, so he's uh, another person to check out if you want more content. Uh, okay, again, Itan Zwig, Jennifer Losser, Seth Reimer, Wei Lam, Sean Hunt, Marcus Thielen? Tom Browse, Brad Wall, the testers. She was a very important part of the process, for sure. secret things. No? No secret? Okay, we have to actually... So this is another loose end we have to find in the game. Thank you. 
Alright, so we have some secrets to discover, a few more loose ends to find. Uh, one secret, um, which I guess we'll go through the restore screen at the beginning of the next episode and try to figure out which one I missed, but that'll be for next time. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you later.